Let me frame, please. <clears throat> what it do, YouTube? It's your boy, Boston. Let me put this shit down. Why is this? You look like you about to watch somebody <laughs> with that shit. What it do, YouTube? It's your boy, Boston. And I'm back with another video, man. Today, we got the first initiation. <laughs> That's the wrong word. Fuck. Um, back with another video, man. Today, we got the first segment ever on this channel called Red or Green. If you don't know what it is, let me give the people the flowers that I got it from. All Dev Digital, they do a squad cast called uh, Versus, where you basically just compare two things and let and elaborate off of it and let us know exactly what you would do and why you wouldn't do it and shit like that. So basically, you either put it in the red or green, for example, mm -hmm. um, Doritos and Takis. You put Doritos in the red, Takis in the green, and you elaborate why you want Takis in the green. Green means you like it. Red means, fuck no, I don't want to do it at all. Mm -hmm. And then you just elaborate off of that. Okay. You feel me? Um, and if you ever put Takis in the green, you're just weird. In my in my opinion. I don't think ever. Mm -hmm. My booty hold a bird. Yeah. No, mm -hmm. But um, today's guest we got on the channel for the first episode <laughs> of Red or Green. You may have seen her in past re um, previous videos. Her name is Sexy Lexi on Instagram, <laughs> a.k.a. Lexi. Lexi Banks. Collection. Um, my, my bad. My be yeah. um so yeah, I just, we, we specified the rules, so we about to get you know dive right into it. Um I'ma start off with a really, you know, moderate one just to get the juices flowing, you know, get ready for the game. Let me hear it. You ready? Mm-hmm. Would you rather be No no no, red or green? Oh, that's what I'm about to say, huh? My fault, my fault. Red or green. Pink. Pink. <laughs> red or green. Being stranded on the island for 10 days or being the president of the United States for 10 days? Green on the president, red on stuck on the island, because the president, I got that money. I'm finna be eating for 10 not, days. Yo, think about how much shit the president got to do in 10 days. Who said I'm finna do it? You got to do it. It's your job. I don't want to be here for 10 days. You I'm here be, for a good time, not a long time. You finna get impeached in 10 days. They finna send you straight to jail. Let's see. You finna fuck up. Yo, I, I couldn't imagine the, the to-do list for the president. And if you don't do it, what the consequences are. Like, think about it. Let's say you're supposed to have a press conference with some nigga in the other country, right? And you don't do it. The fucking country might blow up because you ain't do it. True. Well, before I go do that, free EBT for everybody. Because okay. inflation is fuck high. something up with that. Crab legs. <laughs> free crab legs for everybody? Everybody get a little $500 off EBT. You know how they used to deliver milk to niggas' front doors and shit? Um, yeah, they, they, need to, they need to do that, but like with food, like crab legs and shit. It's hot as fuck outside. I'm about to say milk. It's 100 degrees. That milk going to be spoiled by the time it sit on your porch. It ain't spoiled back in the day. But you got to understand, well, that back in the day, you don't know what the weather was back in the day versus now. This is hell outside. Right. It's 100 degrees. You know, yesterday was the hottest day ever in the world and like life. I, <laughs> I went outside for five minutes and I was like, I got to go back inside. That's too much. I was sweating. So you you still standing on that? Like, you still standing on being a president for 10 days instead of being stranded? Big president, yes. I don't know, man. Lexi for president. Yeah, you got hella power, but that's too much responsibility. Like, being stranded, at least you know you're only stranded for 10 days. Like, at 10 days? I'm finna, I ain't going to lie, I was president for 10 days. I'll be the most turnt president ever. Like, I'll probably get on the most damn thing and be like, America. We done came up, y'all boys. Everybody get a new stimmy. <laughs> what the fuck? You get a stimmy. You get a stimmy. You, you get over? EBT. You get an EBT. You over? Okay. Yeah. I ain't gonna lie. Uh, Make America a better place. That would be your motto? You gotta come up with a five motto than that. that. Somebody used that already. Make America. That was Trump. Yeah. <laughs> Make America sexy again. Uh, nah, uh, 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 uh. I'm gonna probably say... No struggle, more muscle. <laughs> no struggle, more muscle. I can't, I ain't gonna lie, it's kind of hard, you know? No struggle, more muscle. You gotta put in more muscle for that's it. That's kind of hard, I ain't gonna lie. I wanna be straight on the island, you I, I, I kind of wanna see what my survival skills look like. I'm gonna be eating snails. I be seeing niggas, like, you ever watch Naked and Afraid? Them niggas really be out there in the field, like, I'm trying to really do that. You're you think weird. you can survive 10 days in the forest by Hell yourself? no, hell no. I'm not eating nothing. I'm I'm scared of bugs. I'm scared of insects. I'm scared of anything. I can't climb a tree. Like, yo, if you need it, you'll eat it. Trust me. Like, like if you starving and you you like you literally are gonna pass out if you don't eat. Like, you'll eat fucking shit. I'm the type that will go eat something off a fucking tree and it end up being poisonous and die. 
Why the fuck you eating some shit off a tree? I'm gonna eat this grass before leaves, I get something. Eating bark straight off the trees or something? One of them little poison ivy little plants. <laughs> I don't know. I feel like I can do it. Ten days, I'm going to thug it out. I probably won't eat that much, but you got to find water. That's all. You, and once you find the water, you straight. But you're on the island. There's water all there, but. I ain't allowed to be in the president. It's probably less. You probably won't die as fast. Like, but you can get assassinated as a president. You got all that security on you, boy. Oh, you, you're doing that in the mic. Oh. <laughs> My bad. But, um, you got all security, so like. You're not going to really have to worry about nothing but doing your duties, like you said. Security don't protect you from snipers. <laughs> Ain't nobody get sniped yet. Somebody definitely got sniped. Who? Got his shit peeled way back in the whip. It was probably before my days. Ain't gonna yeah, it was way back. John F. Kennedy he got sniped in the head while he was, he while he was doing a parade. I repeat it, man. All right. Here's a deep one, right? And I really want to hear your feedback on this one because it's 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 it's, it's a real deep red or green. Wait, wait, wait. So let's finish the first one. Red or green? You're putting presidency first, green, green, and island red. All right, I'm gonna put it. I'm gonna switch sides. I'm gonna do presidency green, red, uh, ten days um, in a forest, stranded, because mm-hmm. I don't want to deal with that. <laughs> It'd be cool though, but I don't want to deal with that, especially if I have the choice. Mm. Mm-hmm. All right, red or green. Getting a meal anytime you want, but every time you do, your mom gets smacked extremely hard. <laughs> or being able to give your mom extra years of life, but you lose a part of yours. You said a meal as in a million? Mm-hmm. I ain't gonna lie, my mama G, she gonna take that slap and I'm gonna cut that meal. This ain't, no, ain't a regular slap. This, this like, she might bleed after this shit. She might be concussed. This is an abnormally strong nigga just Waiting at the front door. As soon as you click that button, ding dong. <laughs> mama, I mm. hope you don't watch this, but um. You want your mama get smacked? She slapped me. Shit. <laughs> 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 mama, I'm sorry, but I'm gonna split that. I'm gonna split that money with you. Like we gonna be straight. Your bills gonna be paid. You feel me? We gonna oh. be straight. How many times do you pressing that button? Every time I need a meal. How many times do you need a meal? Mm. So you gonna probably like blow the bag off the first meal, then be like, all right, boom, second meal, boom. I mean, like, you three gotta times wa- out the year, quarterly. You, you gotta watch her get smacked too. This ain't no like she just gets smacked and you don't see it. Eat that shit. Eat that shit. <laughs> eat that shit. Eat that shit. <laughs> what? You evil. <laughs> you evil as hell. So- I mean, she would say the same thing. I'm not gonna lie. She, she gonna be like, it's okay, Lexi. We're gonna be straight after this. We be good. Toughen that shit up. We. We see this one. We got this. We got this. Your mama eyes gonna be red, bloodshot. She ain't gonna know what the fuck. She gonna forget who you is by the third one. Oh God. <laughs> we just gonna do the first one and keep it going. One mil? Nah. If you do it one time, you might as well just make her get slapped. Like the the, the numbness will clear it up. Like she'll be straight after three. Like you know what I'm saying? Uh, just tell her to just pop something for the pain. She'll be Ooh, right. numb her face. Still gonna be concussed. Brain ain't gonna know what the fuck happened. <laughs> she gonna wake up, her bills gonna be paid. She gonna be straight. I get. So you wouldn't do the second part at all. Like you wouldn't even do it. Being able to give your mom extra years of life but lose a part of yours. I was getting a little too personal, now. I don't want my mama to see this and be like, "Oh, really?" <laughs> I mean, it's either or. You don't have to. You can put that in the red and just continue letting her get slapped in the green. Sorry, mama, but you gonna have to get slapped. I ain't like, my mama gonna get slapped too. You feel me? Mm-hmm. And we both eating at that point. You feel me? I just, I'll, I'll let her slap me, so we can be even. You feel me? She gonna cuss me out after, but when I give her that cash, she you know what? That like, smack didn't even hurt that much. And she gonna be on on Facebook flexing. On Facebook, you mom be on Facebook? Yes, bro. Yeah. <laughs> my parents don't know how to use social media. That's the crazy thing. My mom gonna be on live, and I'm just like live. Log off, log off, log off, log off. What she be doing on live? What she do? She be getting a view. She be like ranting about life and stuff like that. She be getting. Oh, she want people that to be on live talking. Mm-hmm. That's hard. Why don't you be on live talking? I go on live sometimes, but when I get on live, it be too much. Oh, so you can be on live, but you're not responding to my inbox. You gotta make sure uh, that's lame as fuck. Niggas be typing that and like commenting on that. That's lame. Yeah, I know you see me text you. Shout did it. I'm on live. And I don't like how everybody can see the messages too, cause it's like, nigga, who said, who the fuck said you could just say that? Like, nigga. And my friends be talking a little too hot on the live for me anyway. So. Uh, 
Yeah, yeah, I couldn't be on live around my niggas either because they be saying some outlandish shit. And niggas don't care if you on live. Like when when you say oh I'm on live, they hear it and they be like oh all right. And then five minutes later they still some, still say some. You wild drop shit. your location and everything. I'm like hold on hold on hold on. Yeah, but we on the Ritz on um Denver. Uh, like why are you saying that? What you talking about? All right, uh, boom. I feel like we got it. We got we got we got two good ones out the way. All right. We got two good ones. So so red, uh, mom extra life and you lose a part of yours. Green, uh, every time your mom. Every time you get a meal, your mom gets smacked. We, we both agreeing on that, right? Yeah. I like that. That's a good one. That's a good one. Sorry, mom. What's your favorite? What's your favorite alcohol? I like Don Julio. So tequila. You like tequila? Yeah. Like your go-to is tequila. You don't really drink other shit. Patron. Patron is nice, but after a while, you get aggressive, want to fight off Patron. But I like Don Julio because it's a little bit more smoother and shit. So tequila, tequila, get me there quicker. Okay. So would you rather? Never drink tequila again. Or red or green. Never drink tequila again or never have your favorite meal again. I mean, I'll take the never drink tequila because I could go with rum. I'll go with Henny. I could go with anything else. So, I really don't have a favorite meal because I like to eat anything and everything. But, my favorite meal, meal would be hibachi. So, your favorite meal stir fry? I don't like stir fry, but I like the fried rice. I don't know, like American food, it would be hibachi. I'm I'm Arabian, so if it was to go like the other side, it would be like it's a dish called mensa. No, I'm not gonna go into too much details, but it's goat with white rice. I think it's good lamb or goat. One or the other. You can make it whatever, but we have it with lamb. I love lamb. I wanna be a lamb. You feel me? I need lamb, and then they have the white rice with like the almonds and the parsley, and it's so y'all good. Y'all put almonds in y'all rice? Yeah, not raisins, nigga. Almonds. It's yeah. only like little, little. It's for the decoration, and then they have like the little goat milk that go on top to soften the rice, and then in the in the in the rice, there's like little pieces of bread. That shit slap, okay? And that's you slap, slap. You gotta show me a picture of what that looked like. I'm so confused. It's it's stir fry, but you're saying oh oh so. No, I'm talking about the air the air of food. But it's like it's all mixed up. I mean, like the almonds and stuff come on top, but the the meat and the bread is in the rice. So that's like stir fry, kind of like mixed together basically. You mix it together. I like my stuff separate, and I get to choose what I want to do with it. But yeah, you separate. You get the rice. Never heard all meat. I never heard almond and rice together. I'm bringing it some Monday when my grandma make it because that. <laughs> yeah, you fuck with curry goat? I like I like goat. I curry like goat, goat, curry goat, goat. Right, with white rice. I like that. I love anything spicy. I, I forgot I forgot you was right there. I forgot. I forgot about that. <laughs> yeah. Um, I don't know what I thought you were, honestly. Yeah, I know. I thought you was. Never mind. Uh, um, no, nah, I'm Arabian and black. That's all right. Oh, for real? Arabian and black? Mm-hmm. Who black? You there? No, my mom is black. Your mom black? Yeah, my daddy ain't real. That's hard. Thank you, thank you. Um, yeah, so... I feel like that was an easy one, though, because, like, I love tequila, but I could drink other shit, like rum. Like, I could I could make it work. I'm not going to... You're not going to take my favorite meal away from me, you feel me? I feel like tequila gets you there faster. Yeah. But that favorite meal is just, like, you know, I have comfort food. It's either it's either you take shots of tequila or you make a cocktail for the rest of your life, basically. Because a cocktail, like, you don't really put tequila in a cocktail. Unless it's like a margarita or some shit like that. But if you want to get fucked up quick, you just take a quick little shot of Dom. You know what I'm saying? Or a shot of Termina or mm-hmm. Casi. You good. But, Casamigo. Casamigo good. But cocktails, like, I be feeling lame sometimes when I get a cocktail. Because I want, I don't know. I just, like, if I'm, especially if I'm out, like, imagine drinking a cocktail, you in the club. Like, come on now. Little, you little sipping, sassy little fruity. Sipping on a straw in this bitch in the club with it. You know, no. little fruity little, mm-hmm. little man. Is it sassy for a nigga to sip through a straw? What they say, you, you um, zesty or something. Is zesty to sip is through a straw? You zesty. I mean, I don't really don't look at it like that, but per per one of my family members, they got on my brother for sipping on a straw. They're like... That's bitch shit. We don't drink out of straw. Drink through a straw? Out of fucking straw. Bitch shit? Oh, man. If you suck on a straw, you can suck on something else. Is basically what they say. You can't win. <laughs> you know, some, girl, some, girl, some girl hit me up. She was like, I found my new ick. I'm like, what's your new ick? She was like, niggas that blow on their coffee. I'm like, what? 
And then she was like, she was like, and then she was like, she was like, and then niggas that drink iced coffee, like, nigga, you can't drink it hot. I'm like, what? <laughs> yeah, she, she a little too picky. I'm like, what the? So I can't drink it cold or hot, nigga. How, how the fuck? Fuck coffee. I don't even need it no more. Next. Straight. Kick her to the curb. Mm. Nah, that's funny as fuck. It do be like hella those, like, you can't do shit as a nigga. Yeah, it do be like that sometimes. You know me having icks? Mm, it's like what what turned me off yeah like you see a nigga do some shit like you talk a nigga pop up talk to you some type of way like trying to spit game and then he do something and just like whoa hey, like, hey yo ma what your name is I be like god damn what you touching I be like that hold on nigga be grabbing you like that you it always baffles me when, when women tell me a story about how niggas interact with them Cause I don't believe that. Like I want you to switch places with me for one day. I'm gonna be you. You be me, and you are gonna be like, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. But like, oh my what god. what part of the approach is grabbing you? First Unless all, I know you. They they be seeing you feel like for example, I'm a little revealing tonight. So when they see that, they be trying to put their thing in. Oh, I don't have. Niggas be doing that. Like, nah, grab yeah. me by the waist. So someone grab me by my hair. Grab me. And I just be like, hold up. Nah, that's wild. <clears throat> I feel like you shouldn't really even, like, initiate contact unless she initiates it first. Yeah. That's too risky. Especially nowadays, you can't be just touching people. At this point, I'm going to want to fight. Uh-huh. You going to take a picture of this? Yeah. Oh, I was going to say, if you don't, if you can't see the fit in, um, right now, she might have it on her Instagram, so check it out. YouTube ain't going to let you see this outfit right now. You know what I'm saying? Give them a 360, but sit down, though. I can't show your ass. How about <laughs> not show my ass? It's cute. Can't, can't show too much. You can't even speak too much. Fuck it. Nice outfit. Yeah. Same, same. So what's the perfect what's the perfect way for a nigga to like approach you? Uh, wait, 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 wait. Before you answer that, never mind. Go ahead. Go ahead. I like. I like. Gotta be gentle. You know. Let me get your hair. Like, for example. Hey, how you doing? My name is such and such. I seen you. I just thought you was beautiful. Can Can I get to know you? Let me get your name. Whatever. Keep it like quick and simple. I seen you. You look good. I want to shake your hand. I want to be respectful. I don't want to hear what it is. What you? Where you going after this? Like, come on. I got some come see yeah. you. Come back to my house. That's a, that's a little ghetto. So I like I like a respectful man. You shake my hand. I'm locked in. You gotta let her like let her decide what she want to do. You can't make a decision for her. Mm. You might can give her our options. Like listen, like you real pretty. I wanna know if I can get your number. Maybe we can do something later. Um, let me just whoop and that did. I you know the, yeah. the key thing though for sure, like what I've noticed is I mean what I always do is I don't stay long. Like I might even if I like have a good conversation with you, I'm gonna find my exit quick. Because like you Same. can really you can really overextend your stay quick. Yeah, I give a guy like from outside and they're trying to talk to me and give you sixty seconds. You were just in your head count like one. All right, nigga. Two minutes. Cause <laughs> I I'm I like to keep moving and going. Like you're stalling me at this point. Like all right, like you got my number. We could do everything else on a date, and you get to know me. You just got my what number. Do you, what do you go out for? What is your goal going out? Honestly, my there's no goal when I go out. So like for example, I'm going out tonight. I've been inside all week working from home. I need to get out, go outside, see see different people, see different things. Like, you know, just staying home all the time on social media. I like to live. I like to do stuff. I'm adventurous. And, That's you know, like if that. my friends are going outside, I'm like, you know what? Let me go out with my friends because I always have a good time. Yeah, there's going to be guys that want to talk to you at the end of the night, things like that, which is nice. But at the end of the night, I'm not looking for that. I'm just trying to go have so a good time. Ca- nigga, I don't like how y'all be lying like y'all don't want niggas. Because, like, all right, boom. Maybe I'm just thinking from a guy perspective, because like one, if I put on a fit, mm-hmm. I want the women to see the fit. If I right. go out, I want the women to see me out. If I go buy, you know what I'm saying, some liquor and a bottle and shit like that, like I want the women to see that I bought liquor and a bottle, you feel me? I mean So like I can't help but think like if you go out you will at least I, maybe maybe that's just how I'm just thinking too niggly. Honestly, I like to see what type of people that I'm going to attract. Okay. And right. nine times out of ten, you're going to get blocked the next day because I'm not. What are you going to block me for? What did I do? I didn't even block you. It was good, though. We didn't meet you outside. <laughs> so it's different. But, like, if I met you outside, you see me drunk, you feel me, I might go on a date with you depending. I have to have, like, a couple of conversations with you on the phone and pick your brain and see where you at before I even want to go outside. I'm weird. I have, like, different 
stages before I go out with a guy. But you gotta be you gotta be talking the good shit for me to go out. I just don't go out with anybody and everybody. People go out on dates and don't come back home. I don't like dates no more. <laughs> I don't like dates unless I really want to go on a date. I mean, liking dates, but sometimes I don't like them because it depends. Like, sometimes guys be thinking, like, all right, I took her out to eat. She finna give me some cutty after this. It's, 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 the date experience is way better for you than it is for a guy, though. I bet, because you spending the money. <laughs> it don't even, be, it don't even <laughs> be the money. It just be, like, the time waste. Like, if it don't go, if it don't go how you planned it was, like, not even, like, trying to fuck or nothing like that. Like, because the nigga, I feel like as a nigga, at least me, like, when I go on a date, I try to enjoy myself because... If I'm going on a date, it's because I want to try somewhere new, try a new movie, you know, try a new experience with somebody that I would like to try it with. And if I feel like the experience didn't go well either because you wasn't engaged in it or it wasn't enjoyable, I feel like I just, one, fucked up the experience and two, wasted the time. Mm-hmm. I don't care about the money, but I do I do hate when, when, when I pay for the food and you don't eat. That's I don't like that. Again, back to what we were talking about the other on the other little yeah, podcast, the, the nitpicking little stuff. What nitpicking? You know how you said like you don't like when girls be like nitpicking at their food. Yeah. That that's what that reminded me of. Oh, the nitpicking food. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, if the food nasty though, I can understand. Cause food do be nasty. Sometimes it do be nasty. Throw a little salt and pepper, I get it done. Go home and re-rock it. Ah, <laughs> re-rock it. Yeah, that's funny. Go home and re-rock it. Throw that bitch in the air fryer. <laughs> Right, put a little seasoning on there, you'd be okay. Yeah, yeah, nah. I like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. Well, I do hope when you go out, you enjoy your night. It's Thank it's you. your friend birthday, right? Mm, nobody birthday. We just outside. We just outside. Okay. Yeah. Um. All right, we got two more. Then I'm gonna let you slide. Okay. Uh. Would you well, red or green? Mm-hmm. Always. Wait, 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 we didn't answer the one before. Um. Which is what are you putting in red and green? Huh? What are you putting in red or green? What do you mean? The tequila or the um, favorite meal? Never, uh, ha- never having tequila red, um, food green. So never having tequila, you're putting in the red, and you would rather always have your favorite meal green. Yeah, I'm the same because you could always make yeah, another cocktail. There's always you know different substitutions. Yeah, I like that. Are you nervous? I'm a little cold. How are you cold? Oh, you. I'm all right. Red or green? Always have slow internet connection. I'll always hit red lights when you're driving. Ooh, I ain't gonna lie. I'll hit that red light because you're gonna save me a ticket. And you're gonna save me from an accident. I need that fast internet connection. I need the fast internet connection. I like that. I need the fast. Internet. Red lights do be annoying though, like especially when you're late. That shit is. It feel like you hit every red light too. You need to try the lights. For example, going down OBT one night on a drunk night, I was stuck at the light. It was me and the light looking at each other. We just like, I'm waiting on it to turn (laughs) green. And I thought I was tripping, but the whole time I was not tripping. Like, there was other cars that was going around me and all this stuff and running the red light. But I got too many tickets with these red lights, so I'm not going to run nothing. So I just sat there and I just looked at it and I was like, do, 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 do. I was like, okay, everybody else left, so let me put this in reverse and then bust this U-turn and find a different detour to go home because that light was not changing. Yeah, nah. Hell nah. Yeah, sometimes that shit do be petty. And then when you bust the U and you look in the back of your uh, your oh, rear yeah. view and that shit green. Like, yeah, Nigga, it definitely happened because by the time I bust the U-turn and went to go to the turning lane instead of going straight, it was green. So I said, fuck it. Uh-uh, no. But you know what's even worse, though? Like, you ever been like, let's say you go to like Chick-fil-A or McDonald's and you're trying to eat like while you drive and you get every green light, that's almost as bad as every red light. <laughs> yeah. Because you be driving like, all right, but this like gonna be, uh, this flight gonna be red, and then it, it turned green as as soon as you hit the brake, and you're like, fuck, like it's like it's like you know. Yeah, I be I be getting a little irritated. I be like, let me go ahead and pull over, and you know. See, I feel like pulling over is just too much, cause now I'm like delaying what I was gonna go do. Yeah, but I wanna I wanna eat first. I gotta eat first. I got to make sure I eat or do whatever that I'm doing safely because anything can happen. I'm, I'm traumatized. I got in a car accident, so, like, oh, I try a, to be a safe driver. Okay. You're a safe driver. You're uh, always in good hands, all state? Barely. Um, so, 
Yeah, slow internet connection is horrible. But like, I have Spectrum, and I swear, like, my internet connection just is either really fast or really slow. Like, Spectrum. so I deal with it already. Spectrum be going out in my area, and it's just way too much. Yeah. I'm not trying to, like, you know, this Spectrum, but that having Spectrum internet is like having Metro for your phone provider at this point. No, you're right for sure. <laughs> But the thing about it is, like, it's either really good or really bad. It's never in between. Mm-mm. Like, sometimes I'll click something, and it'll go there so fast. And then sometimes I'll click it, and it'll just, it'll just never go. Like, you'll be like, shit, sorry, nigga. Yeah, I need you that. You need that. Yeah. Uh-huh. <laughs> I need that fast internet connection. Do you do you have the, <clears throat> the uh, I don't know what you call it, but the advanced one? Like, you know, there's the... The megabytes and stuff? Yeah. I got, like, the 300. You know, I work from home, so I be needing all that. Damn, isn't that the highest one? And you still be experiencing slow shit? I don't experience slowness. I experience, like, outages. Like, I'll get, like, yeah, a random notification that Spectrum is out in your area. And speaking of Wi-Fi, did you hear about the internet apocalypse? Talking about we're not going to have internet for a couple months. I don't know how true that is, but I don't want to panic. I work from home. I need that internet. Wait, 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 wait. You didn't hear about that? NASA nah. said that we're not going to have internet for a while because of something going on. Look it up. You think people going missing in the submarine and Kiki Palmer and her man and all that stuff? It's, uh, how it's, you feel about the Kiki Palmer shit? No comment. No, 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 no. I got to hear it. How you feel about that? I feel like Kiki got an image to put on because she Kiki Palmer. Then you got an insecure man at home. He's insecure? If you didn't like her wearing what she was wearing, you could have said, hey, babe, this is a little too much. Like, if I was your girl and I was wearing this, you could have been like, I'm not going to lie. I'm not digging this because as my girlfriend, I already know what this is going to try. From the, from the tweet, it sounded like he didn't have a say. Like, he wasn't there when she left. Um, but maybe it was more about what she did with Usher because she was, she was a little too friendly with Usher. But come on, it's Usher. But it's like you got a man at home, sugar, so you got to be on point. Honestly, I feel like... She a mom. I, I, she I, just I, became a mom. She a mom. She is. A, she wants to be a wife. What I think is, I think everybody should live their relationship how they want to live their relationship. Whatever, if that's how they relate, run it, it's fine. Mm-hmm. But I think certain things you don't post. Like he should have never ever. He should never said that. that. Yeah, he was wrong for saying that. He could have been like, "Hey, when you get home, we gotta sit down and have a talk." Yeah. Correct her in private so that way next time she could be accordingly. But you don't embarrass the girl in public and. Now it's like she in the social media eyes, so now she has to do this, do that. You know how social media is. If social, if, if Kiki Palmer don't act like a city girl, then it's gonna be oh she just sounds. Uh, she wasn't know. always a city girl though. Was she, she no, she was never a city girl. She was one of them good girls. Like she was a good, she's a good actress and all that stuff and a singer. But honestly, you gotta sit down and communicate with your partner about what certain things that you're okay with and what you're not okay with, because not yeah. everybody's gonna be okay with stuff that you think that you're okay with. Like, if I had a man right now, and what I'm wearing, I would even be walking out the door with this song. Because he'd be like, come here. And if he was my man, and you let me walk outside like this, I'm going to be like, you're okay with all this? That's what I'm saying. Like, that's, hmm. why, that's why I feel like he was. he's not in the wrong. You should be able to have boundaries in your relationship. Just keep it private. It's, it's the way he basically addressed it, honestly. He could have addressed it privately than publicly. Yeah, for sure. But he was probably mad. He was probably sitting at home with a badger like yeah, this. Like, look at my baby mama with Usher. I'd be sick too, y'all. He probably like, oh I'm at the crib. I'm at the crib trying to enjoy the show. So you get, Kiki! You get serenaded. Nigga, hand on Kiki, do you love me? Oh, my God. Mm-mm. Kiki love Usher. I throw up. <laughs> Sit to your stomach. Last one, and then we are done. Margaritas, red or green? No, 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 red or green. We didn't answer the internet shit. Red or green? Um, red for the other stuff. No, wait. I'm oh, confused. What was the other one? So it was always have slow internet or always hit red lights. Red for red lights or red for slow internet? Green for hit the red lights. Red for the internet. Does that make sense? Yeah, so you would okay. rather hit red lights than have slow internet because you work from home, right? Mm-hmm. I would rather have slow internet because I'd be late. Like, I wake up real late. Like, if I have to work at 8, I'm probably up by, like, 7.45. So I'm always speeding when I'm on the way to work. And if I'm hitting red lights, then, like, you know what I'm saying? I'm fucked. So I'm going to go ahead and go with green on the slow internet because it's already slow for me because I got spectrum and uh, red. <laughs> red and the red lights. Fuck a red light. Period. Um, 
Last one, last but not least, this is my favorite one. Margaritas or mimosas, red or green? Yeah. That's that's a hard one. Yeah, I I, uh, I don't know. It depends on like what that's time of the day. But because mimosas, they have like whenever I drink a mimosa, I feel great. Like I'm yeah. Especially if I'm on like a link or a date, like I'm drinking mimosa, I feel like I could defeat the world. I feel like that nigga. When I'm off the margarita, it's a mix. It's a mix match, and not everybody make a good margarita. You can't fuck up a mimosa, but like a margarita, like sometimes the margarita is too fucking strong. Right, my mom make these strong ass margaritas, yeah. and I be like crawling, like. Mm-mm. Sometimes it, it's too potent, and you, I don't know. When I drink something that's too strong, I can't keep drinking it, like. I'm a champagne drinker, so give me the mimosas, please. I I like take mimosas a pregame and stuff like that, or like going out to brunch and stuff. But the margaritas, too sweet, sugary, like you said, it's a hit or miss. So you'd rather never ever have margaritas again and only drink, cause that, if you don't have a margarita again, like there's a lot of places that have margaritas, like taco spots. I don't uh, really fuck with margaritas like that. Really? Well, that's not your margarita. It's been that long? Yeah. <laughs> I just had a margarita. I don't remember. I haven't had a mimosa in a minute, but the feeling mimosas give you is undefeated, bro. I'm sorry. You, you, get, you get a little slizzard, but I feel like I can control myself more off of um, mimosa than a margarita. You got to drink more mimosas to feel it. You ain't never been to brunch with me. We like six cups in, baby. I might have a shot of Patron, too. And I'm smoking. That's because you, you, you got all the extra shit. I'm talking about the straight. Straight champagne, yeah. It take a little because I be going to brush too. When we have, well, we getting cheap champagne though. But uh, drink, drink some Bel Air. I, I be drinking Bel Air. I like Bel Air. Bel Air get me a little Bel-Air slizzard and be getting me there. But I'm not too drunk and I'm not too sober. I'm like in between to where I'm like, okay, I feel a little tipsy. I feel good. I feel great. I can drive, control myself, everything. The margaritas you have way too many. Your ass is fucked up. Your ass is grass. Now you're right. Too many margaritas have your ass blacked out in the back of the Ubi. Exactly. So. I've seen that happen too much. Cause margaritas, they sneak up on you. Like you think you're strong, but when you hit that fifth yeah. one, nigga, you ain't that nigga no more. We're gonna knock you out. So green for the mimosas, red for the margaritas. Green for the mimosas, red for the margaritas. I think I'm gonna go the same. Green for the mimosas, and mimosas just look more fancy. Like you, you just look. I don't know, like margaritas. Like it, bougie. You know what I'm saying? You can't drink too many margaritas. You're gonna look. You're like a cocktail sipper. You feel me? You drink champagne. You look. You look hard. Way hard. Okay. With boss. the bubbles. Big boss. Big boss. Big boss shit. You feel me? Uh, Bernie over in the cut. I don't know why he over there. But if you remember that poster, you a real one. How you feel about Bernie? Bernie. You like him? You cool? He's great. Why you turn all the way this way? Because he's right here. You need to turn this way? Yeah, fair Okay. <laughs> Smash the like button. I hope you guys enjoyed the video, man. Let me know if you want to see more variations of red or green. By the way, in the comments down below, we will be able to take some suggestions. So go ahead and put some red or greens in the comments mm-hmm. down below so we can do it on the next episode, whenever that may um, very well may be. Uh, follow once again, Sexy Lakes on Instagram. Follow me on Instagram. And uh, stay lit, stay fire, stay real, and stay boss. And stay sexy, too.